do you have the urgency to pee? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my photographer's laughing at me like we shouldn't be doing that. But I wanted to make it drastic. Like I want to talk about the urgency to urinate. It's a big question that a lot of people reach out to us about. And so I want to be able to share my journey with you in regards to what you can do in order to hydrate your body, but yet not have to run to the bathroom. So I want to walk you through the very first step. So I've been experimenting with water and drinking tons of water for over 20 years. As a reminder, I was in the pharmaceutical world where I thought I was helping people with drugs and keeping them healthy, but the reality is that did not happen. You were getting people addicted to pharmaceuticals. So I got out of that and got into what I felt was very important for every human's journey, and that is to clean the body, right? To get rid of the toxins. Why are we getting sick? Because of all the toxins that we actually inhale or we consume on a regular basis. I mean, their laundry list is endless right now with forever chemicals, hexavalent chromium-6, it goes on and on and on. So we're actually getting illnesses from the things we put in our body, right? It does make sense. Think about your body. It is one big filter. Whatever you consume, you absorb, right? You have an esophagus, a stomach, you have a pancreas, you have a liver, you have a kidney, you have uh, you know, upper and lower intestines. We have all these organs that are basically designed to absorb what you consume and make that you, right? Sadhguru has a great line. If I dr uh, eat a banana in four hours, I'm that banana, right? Think about that for a second. I'll add to that, if I drink a glass of water, right? In four minutes, I'm that glass of water. So how do we properly hydrate without the urgency to pee? Well, here's the journey that I went through. So as I said, I wanted to clean my body, so I went and drank half my weight in ounces a day. And that's where people go crazy. They're like, there's no way I can drink that much water. And it's like, I, ain't on, I get it, right? I'm 180 pounds, that's 90 ounces of water a day. Yes, uh, I have had to run to the bathroom a lot, right? So what did I do? Well, to begin with, the very first product I started with almost 20 years ago, again, I've been doing this for 25 years, is the Kangen machine. The Kangen machine, which we don't sell, we're not part of the multi-level marketing program, but I did want to experiment with that. And guess what? It did work. It did seem to pull, put water into my cells better than just drinking regular purified water. However, the dilemma that I had with the product is it didn't take the toxins out of the water. It doesn't do that. They tell you that, oh, well, when you have, you're properly hydrated and you get all this energy from this water, it's going to kick the contaminants out of your body. Well, that seems ridiculous to me, right? It just seems like insanity. It's like, so go ahead and drink a toxin, and then you hope that that clean, that water's, and the energy of that water is going to kick the toxin out of, the, out of your body. That doesn't make sense. So I was on the path of, okay, I want to get rid of all those toxins. So first thing we do is we start drinking reverse osmosis water because it's certified to take the toxins that are in the water out of the body. Under sink reverse osmosis systems, ones that are NSF 58 certified, those are certified to take out most all the toxins that are in America's water supply. Arsenic, radium, hexavalent chromium-6, forever chemicals, these are all things that are taken out with an NSF 58 and hopefully American made reverse osmosis system. Okay, so that's where it started. Yes, but I had to be, I had to go to the bathroom, right? So what did I learn about? I learned, okay, well, let's try to change the energetic level of the water. So I store my water in a copper vessel. Copper vessels kill bacteria. Um, so that, you know, I thought that was something worthwhile and it was supposed to change the energy a little bit. I didn't really feel any difference. It did not really help. So next step, I learned about lemons, right? When you add lemon to water, it becomes more alkaline as it transfers through the body. So, okay, I tried that. That's a little bit better, but it still wasn't great. Then I learned about liquid IV. Liquid IV into the water. It's got a little bit of sugar into it. So what does it do? It help forces it into the cell of the body. That be, these two combined was a nice in, uh, improvement. But still, I felt like, wow, I still had these days of like, I have to go to the bathroom. So next thing I learned about was Celtic salt. So Celtic salt has like 82 minerals in it, of which the sodium actually opens up the cell and then three magnesium come into the cell that helps draw the water into the cell. And yes, that was great. I would take lemon, Celtic salt, just a dab on my tongue, but you can only really do it twice, maybe three times a day. And I'd drink that water, full glass of water. And I was like doing really, really well with that. Didn't have that urgency to pee. So it felt, feels like, I mean, 
I don't know, it seems logical that if I don't have that urge, urgency to pee, it's getting into the cells better, right? Well, let me tell you, the next product I'm going to tell you about, we don't sell. <laughs> I got it on Amazon. I started researching more and more about what the successful things are on the marketplace, and hydrogen water came to my uh, vision, and I started researching it. And wouldn't you believe it that if I take purified water, that by the way, we have an alkaline filter that makes the water more alkaline, which means we're adding minerals back to it, and I put that in this little uh, contraption and hit the button, guess what? It makes the water hydrogen rich, similar to what the Kangen machine did. But now we have purified water that we made alkaline, that now that we are adding hydrogen to it. And I'm going to tell you, it's night and day difference. So I would love it if anyone out there tries this. Again, we want to use alkaline water. Fill this jar with that. Go ahead and turn it on and then drink this water. And what I think you're going to see is what I've had my personal success with is that I feel more energy. I feel like it's pulled into my body more. Um, I'm healthy. I, I mean, and I don't have that urge to see the pee. Now, still, I will add, take that water out of that, put it in a cup, add lemon and Celtic salt at different times throughout the day just to change things up. But I'm just telling you, if you're looking to have the benefits of not have, drinking good, clean water, flushing the body of the toxins that you either ingest because, you know, our foods have toxins in it or you're inhaling toxins and you want to try to flush your body with good, clean water, reverse osmosis, alkaline water, put it into hydrogen-enriched bottle, I think you're going to have a great success. I'd love to learn more. Please comment below. As you know, if you'd like a little help with this, angelwater.com uh, is where our website is. And as you know, my overall goal, um, I'm Drew, and I'm here to serve you.